Coronation Street spoilers, David Platt to dump Shona Ramsey after Josh Tucker rape. Coronation Street fans could see the end of David Platt and Shona Ramsey, as he struggles to come to terms with being the survivor of sexual assault. David Platt, played by Jack P. Shepard, looks set to break the heart of Shona Ramsey, Julia Goulding, in an upcoming episode of Coronation Street. The further of one has been uneasy ever since Josh Tucker, Ryan Clayton, spiked his drink and raped him during a night out together. Now it seems the horror of the ordeal is putting a strain on his relationship with girlfriend Shona. ITV have released new information about the couple's difficulty to communicate, suggesting their romance could be on the rocks. In an upcoming episode, Shona fears her relationship with David is in jeopardy and thinks he is going off her. Eager to keep the sparks flying between them, Shona invites David to bed, however, David seems hesitant to oblige. Later, Shona is excited when David asks her to meet him in the Rovers, but she is left disappointed when he turns up with her bags. Could this be the end of David and Shona? And will David ever manage to cope with the rape drama? Meanwhile, with David spiraling out of control, Shona decides to do some digging to make sense of his erratic behavior. Consequently, as she divulges into David's secrets she finds something that traces back to Josh. New pictures show Shona will seek out a stranger from Josh's past who may turn out to be another one of his victims. In one image, the cafe worker attempts to get information out of Josh's former colleague, who is reportedly called December. However, he refuses to talk to her about his potential abuser and gets away from Shona by walking down an alleyway. Last week, David traveled to Liverpool with his children to see his father Martin Platt, Sean Wilson. Seeing that David was distraught, Martin begged him to open up and tell him why he had come all that way. But David remained tight-lipped about the ordeal and brushed off Martin's attempts to get him to talk, and to talk. 